we are doing calculation for what only for let out we are doing calculation if it is a self occupied up to 30000 you can take interest so 2 lakh 20000 means it is not only for this it is for complete house 1 lakh 35 minus 30 your final answer 1 lakh 5 hope you are clear Hello everyone, this is your other sir here. So lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session 13 of your topic called Tax Management. Under Tax Management, we are doing the topic Income from House Property. Now, under Income from House Property, you know that we have done so many problems. But now, this session and we'll have one more session in this, we will do the unique type of problem so that all kind of problem you must be familiar with now so today's session will do only one problem but the problem is little different if you go with the concept it will be easy for you so that the same house we have divided like few portion will be occupied for residence few portion will be given for let out few portion will be office like you have a big building so in the building you have four partitions one partition you are residing one more partition you have given for rent one more partition you have given on you are doing your business then how do we calculate the income from house property now we'll go for that the agenda is very simple problems on house property so this will be your question here I will explain you what is your question here. Problem 18 in this Sri Nagana. Sri Nagana owns a big house the construction of which was completed in May 2011. In May 2011 it is completed. Now 50% of the floor area is let out. Remember this is your house. This is your house. Now, out of this, 50% is what? Let out. Let out in the sense, it is given on rent. Clear? Yes. Now, 50% floor area let out for residential purpose on monthly rent of rupees 23,500. How much you are getting? 23,500 multiplied with 12, it will be your rent. Cleo? Yes. So, what is the next one? Next one, the second part will be 25% of the floor area used by the owner for the purpose of his profession. 25% is used for profession. Again, come back to this. 25% used by his profession his profession means he is not getting income as a rent so we can call it as a self-occupied itself now so it is profession we will not do any calculation now we'll go for the last one in this while remaining 25 percent of floor area utilized for the purpose of his residence other particulars are as follows. So, out of 100%, 50% let out, 25% for his profession and balance 25%. For what purpose? For balance 25%, it is for residential purpose, self-occupied. No calculation for this. Hope you are clear. You have a big house, 50% of the house is let out, 25% of the house is for profession and 25% house is for residential purpose. I will calculate 23,500 into 12, 23,500 into 12, how much you will get? You will get S, yes, 2,82,000, 280. 2000. Just multiply 23500 into 12, you will get 2,282,000. Clear? 
Yes. Now, once you're done with this, we'll go to the answer. Now, municipal valuation, you know that it is 7 lakh. Standard rent, it is 9 lakh. Remember, this is for complete house. We are let out is how much? 50% is let out. We are doing calculation for what? Only for let out, we are doing calculation. Whatever municipal valuation given, take half. Whatever standard rent given, take half. Municipal taxation, take half. Now, municipal valuation 7 lakh, standard rent 9 lakh, municipal tax 50% let out area paid by tenant. If the municipal tax is paid by tenant, what happens? We will not consider your municipal tax. Now, interest on capital borrowed for repairs. 2,20,000. We'll come back later. Ground rent, we will not consider. Annual charges, we will not consider. Fire insurance, we will not consider. Electricity bill paid, we will not consider. Any expenses paid, we will not consider. Only interest as well as your 30% slab. These two. Other than these two, we will not consider anything. Clear? Yes. Compute taxable income from house property for the assessment year 2020 as well as 21. Now, we'll go to your answer. So, these are your column. Particular, let out property is 50%. Self-occupied is 25%. As well as profession, it is 25%. Now, the heading must be like this. Computation. of income from house property for the assessment year 2020 and 21. These are the calculations we have. Now, we'll calculate one by one. First, we'll calculate your net annual value. How do we calculate first? Your municipal value. Municipal value or fair rent whichever is higher. I'll go back to your question. What is your municipal value? 7 lakh. Can we take 7 lakh? No. Our self-occupied is only 50%. Take half. Half means how much? So, 7 lakh into 50%. It will be 3 lakh 50,000. What about your fair rent? In the question, fair rent not given. So, fair rent will be how much? Nil. Which is the higher value? 3 lakh 50 thousand is the higher value. Now, compare this with standard rent. Standard rent. How much you have? You have standard rent of rupees. 9 lakh. Should we take 9 lakh or half of the 9 lakh? Your let out property is only half. Half of the 9 lakh, how much? 4 lakh 50 thousand. 9 lakh into 50 percent. It will be 4 lakh 50 thousand. Whichever is less. Out of this, the lesser value. Lesser value is 3 lakh 50 thousand. Now compare with actual rent. Now compare with actual rent. What is your actual rent? So we already calculated 23,500 into 12. It is completely let out. Don't make it half because this is paid for let out only. Whatever information given, it is for complete house. We made it into half. But the rent is given specifically for this thing. Don't make it half. How much you are collecting? 23,500 into 12, 2,82,000. 23,500 into 12, 2,82,000. Which one is higher? 3,50,000 is your gross annual, not gross annual value net annual value any doubt up to this what is your net annual value 
थ्री लैक फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज योर नेट एनुअल वैल्यू नाउ डू यू हैव एनी म्यूनसिपल टैक्स योर विल चेक यू हैव म्यूनसिपल टैक्स फिफ्टी परसेंट लेट आउट एरिया यू नो वॉट इज लेट आउट एरिया पेड बाय टेनेंट इफ पेड बाय टेनेंट वी विल नॉट कंसिडर क्लियर एनीथिंग व्हिच इज पेड बाय टेनेंट वी विल नॉट कंसिडर रिमेनिंग वी विल नॉट टेक ओनली व्हाई बिकॉज फॉर सेल्फ ऑक्यूपाइड देयर इज नो नेट एनुअल वैल्यू सो योर म्यूनसिपल टैक्स म्यूनसिपल टैक्स नील योर नेट एनुअल वैल्यू इज थ्री लैक फिफ्टी thousand so what is why we have not taken municipal tax paid by tenant hope you understood paid by tenant that's why we have not taken any doubt up to this no doubt self occupied and profession we will not consider anything so that's why it is nil any doubt no doubt i'll go to next one your net annual value net annual value it is 3 lakh 50000 this one is nil and this one also nil now what we will do less 30% standard deduction 3 lakh 50000 multiplied with 30% how much you will get i'll do calculation Three lakh fifty thousand multiplied with thirty percent, you will get one lakh five thousand. One lakh five thousand. Any calculations here? No. Any calculations here? No. How much you will get before that? Less interest on loan. For repairs, I'll go back to your question. As per the question, it says that interest on capital borrowed for repairs two lakh twenty thousand, and so two lakh twenty thousand means it is not only for this; it is for complete house. How to calculate? I'll calculate now. So two lakh twenty thousand. It is how much? Fifty percent into fifty percent. So fifty percent is let out. That's why we take fifty percent. It will be one lakh ten thousand. Any doubt? Half of the house is let let out. That's why we take this one lakh ten thousand for LOP. What is the balance of? This is for. Let out property. Self-occupied. We'll consider both as self-occupied property. Now, same thing. Two lakh twenty thousand. Twenty-five plus twenty-five. How much it is? Fifty percent into fifty percent. How much you will get? One lakh ten thousand only. Can we take one lakh ten thousand? Can we take no? If it is a self-occupied, what is the maximum limit? Up to you can take thirty thousand. Thirty thousand in the bracket limit. You cannot exceed thirty thousand. If it is for construction, up to two lakh you can go. If it is for repairs, you can go up to thirty thousand because. It is self-occupied. Again, I am repeating. If it is a self-occupied, up to thirty thousand, you can take interest. If it is other than self-occupied, unlimited, any number you can take. If it is not self-occupied, one lakh ten thousand, one lakh ten thousand. It is a self-occupied. That's why it is restricted to thirty thousand. You may have confusion, sir. What about the two lakh? Two lakh is for construction loan. This amount is for repair loan. Remember, I'll mention here uh, repair, self-occupied property limit thirty thousand. Remember this, self-occupied limit is 
30,000. Now, we'll go for the final answer. What is your income from house property? Your income from house property, you minus these two, it will be how much? 1 lakh, 1 lakh 40, 1 lakh 35. 1 lakh 35,000. This is minus 30,000. And this one is 0. This 30,000 you can take here also, you can take here also, no issue. Or else you can take 15,000 here, 15,000 here, no issue. Now, your answer is 135 minus 30. House 135 minus 30,000. Your answer is 1 lakh 5,000. Income from house property. Any doubt? Income from house property is 1 lakh 5,000. Hope you are clear. Income from house property, your answer 1 lakh 5,000. I'll cross check once your calculation. 3 lakh 50,000 minus 1 lakh 5,000 minus 1 lakh 10,000. Yes, I got 1 lakh 35 only. 1 lakh 35 minus 30. Your final answer, 1 lakh 5. Hope you are clear. Yes, this is what your calculation. I'll go back to all the slides. If you want, you can take screenshots. This will be your question. Your solution part 1. Solution part 2. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. As I told you, it is one of the unique type of problem. Problem is easy, but you should know that how to do this. So same house if uh, they have given partition, this is the way you are supposed to do. Hope you understood. We'll meet in the next session. Thank you.